I can't help but think that I am a risk taker. Lynn Lambert has lived her life taking chances, first working as an actor in New York City for 20 years before choosing a career backstage. And finally, I just said, I'm going to have to do it. Because <laughs> if I don't do it, somebody else is going to do it. Fifteen years ago, Lynn took her life savings and started a business selling clothes and accessories designed with iconic New York City subway images. In short time, celebrities donned her designs, so did a former president. But even when her sales were as high as $1.2 million a year, she was reluctant to take another risk to help grow her business. I didn't think there was any way I could hire another employee. You know, looking at my bottom line thinking, where would that money come from? Lynn's not alone. Nearly nine in ten women who own small businesses want their businesses to grow, according to a new survey, but only 23 percent believe hiring new employees is important. It's like, um, how do you find a way to hire someone else who may help you grow your business when you're struggling to pull money out to put in your own pocket to, to support your own family? So I understand that concern. Just take out that middle paragraph. Four years ago, Lynn hired her first full-time employee. How big of a breath did you have to take before you made, took the plunge? Pretty big, because I have never taken a big salary out of the business. And then, in fact, were there ever a question of someone getting paid, it was going to be her. Since then, Lynn has taken advantage of the Count Me In program, which provides mentoring and financial advice to women on how to build their businesses. I think there are so many times when you feel alone as a, a small business owner, and I'm not alone anymore. So it's going to be black. Getting the support she needs to learn how to hire smart and grow. Kelly Wallace, CBS News, New York.